Dear Super Loud White Guy, my guess is your unchecked laughter wasn't commissioned by the mayor, the shop owner, anyone. Not your brazen, caffeinated inflection as if bathed in the salted gluttony of halftime man cave. We know now you watch a lot of Sex in the City, or more than most guys. Your sister's favorite is Charlotte. Turns out the only time a guy gave a damn about her was when she had cancer, so you say. And I wonder if you know you're in public. How much space you must swallow on the train. In waiting rooms, I wonder who you were in school, on the playground, at the beach, stomping on some girl's boogie board till her dad told you to stop. Maybe you cried every day and this incessant narration at obscene decibels is your fuck you to the world. Maybe your therapist suggested you sit in cafes and pretend no one else matters. Narcissism therapy, she called it. <laughs> Maybe you were hoping we'd join in, answer the clarion call of your cacophonous sass, pull up next to your cabal of money doppelgangers still mourning their parents' divorces. Maybe you're still drunk from yesterday's parade, torn shamrocks, fluttering on the curb of your consciousness. Maybe all your days are impromptu speeches screamed into space, the rest of us disembodied ears on long sticks over your rhetorical fire melting like marshmallows. Maybe you're just a dick. <laughs> Or maybe you're a decent guy slipped back into the safety of his skin and gender on a Sunday afternoon in a cafe on 3rd Avenue. Whoever you are, I have collected and silenced you in ink, folded your blare and oblivion into neat triangles and flicked them through the uprights of my brown soundproof notebook. <laughs> <laughs>